Seth from StephHandle.com and you're watching Ask Anything Wednesday. Today I'm here in Lexington, Kentucky. It's a beautiful fall day. You can see all the leaves changing and falling. It's awesome. So today I'm answering a question from Samantha who wrote in and she said, the hardest part for me to lose weight on is my stomach. So what are the best foods to eat to get my abs in shape? Awesome question, Samantha. I'm pretty pumped to answer this and I decided to put together five of my favorite foods for flat abs. So, the five are whole, unprocessed foods, fermented foods, smoothies, grapefruit, and berries. So let's go in depth with those and explain why they're so great. The first one is whole, unprocessed foods. These are essential for our bodies because when we're eating processed food, a lot of times it's irritating to our our stomachs and our body in general, and it's causing inflammation. Inflammation is puffiness and bloating. Anytime you feel like, I work out and I eat well. Well, and so anytime you're like, I work out and I eat well, but I still can't get my abs where I want them to be. A lot of times it's because we're not eating the right foods. We're eating processed foods that are said to be healthy, but aren't actually healthy. So we wanna have these unprocessed whole foods. And if you're wondering what that is and how to integrate that specifically into your diet, that's what eight week bikini abs is about. So the next one is fermented foods. So this falls under a similar category where you don't want inflammation in, the, in your gut. And your gut is made up of good and bad bacteria. And a lot of times we have more bad bacteria from eating the processed foods. So, when there's a lot of bad bacteria, we gotta balance it out with the good stuff. Naturally, you should have more good bacteria than bad. But, because we're eating all the processed foods, we have more bad bacteria. So, you wanna go in there, have these fermented foods that are high in probiotics, good bacteria, to repopulate that. Because there's too much bad stuff, again, it's gonna to lead to bloating and inflammation. And those are two things we don't want, right? Next food that we're moving on to is smoothies. Smoothies are one of my favorite things to eat. They're awesome. And they're basically a great way to have whole foods. And it's very easy for your body to digest. We've been talking a lot about the gut. You know, we're talking about abs on the front, but really what we want is the gut, which is on the inside. We wanna make our digestive process as clean and healthy as possible. So that's why we're having smoothies that are super easy to digest. And you're also gonna get a lot more energy for that quick digestion process, which is a bonus. Next one is grapefruit. Grapefruit is great because we're looking for foods here. Grapefruit and apples, actually. They're very high in fiber and they keep you full for a long time. That's an essential part of keeping flat abs. You don't wanna be ravenous and hungry. So these foods are giving you enough nutrition that you feel full and you're able to not be just snacking all the time. Grapefruits are an awesome snack. So are apples, really good, high quality, organic apples, which are some of Josh's favorite foods right now. He's obsessed with apples. Then our final food is berries. Berries are a great dessert substitute. They're also super high in antioxidants, which are what fuel your body to be its best. And when we have berries as a dessert, instead of having some kind of sugary, high processed chocolate, we are actually really doing some good for our body. It is a little bit tart, but it satisfies the sweet craving. So I totally suggest that you give that one a try. It's really fun, it's one of my favorites. Even frozen berries are great. And then I know I said I was gonna talk about five foods, but there's one extra thing that I have to talk about, about flat abs. So. At Eight Week Bikini Abs, we believe that health is happiness, and that's a mindset. So it is essential that your mind be in check for your body to get to where you want it to be. I know that sounds a little different than anything you've heard before, but this is a key component. You know, all those years that I was trying to get my weight to not yo-yo and figure out what was going on, it, I was realizing that it was the emotional state, the mental state, which is key. So, in A Week Bikini Abs, we do full training on healthy mindset, positivity, all that good stuff. So again, if that is something that you're looking for, I really suggest that you try A Week Bikini Abs. It is an awesome program and it's just a total lifestyle change. So thank you so much for asking that, Samantha. Awesome question. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and also subscribe for more Ask Anything Wednesday videos like this. 
Also, share it with your friends and family if you think this information can help them. And then also, I wanna hear from you, so make sure you leave me a comment in the section below and write your question so I can answer it in a future video. Make sure you head over to stephendel.com, sign up for eight week bikini abs. It's an awesome program. And you can also sign up for free for my email newsletter, which goes out with recipes, tips, workouts, really exclusive information over there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.